Tuesday morning, y'all. I have been working on laundry this morning. I worked on it last night, too. Um, as you can see, these are still drying. I've got one more pillow to wash, and I'm not sure what else I've got left to do, but that's why the laundry is everywhere, because I've been working on it. I'm working on videos right now. Um, see that? Working on videos. I can hear it thunder outside. I seen my sweet girl Peanut. She's out here somewhere. I'm not sure if she's under the van still or if she did go into the car. I put food out there for her. So, um, what's funny is, is she did not come. Sorry, the air conditioner's on. She did not come while I was gone. She's so smart. She knows if I've got laundry everywhere. She knows if I'm not here. She's a smart one. So, hello lizard, hi geckos. There's the van, I gotta finish unloading it, but there's a storm coming in. You hear it? Yeah, there's a storm coming in. Ooh. That's gonna be a good one. <laughs> you guys know how I like my storms. Once the storm passes through, if it cools it down a little bit, because I did not get up bright and early this morning. I need to go into the shed and organize that a little bit, work on that, and pull a bunch of stuff that needs to go into the dumpster out before I finish unloading the van. Because all that stuff in the van has got to go back into the shed. So I want to get it organized before I put it back in there. Um, that's why the van's parked right there. I did pull some stuff out that needed to come in the house, like the laundry and that kind of stuff, and the coffee pot, and, um, all that fun stuff. But I'm making some boiled eggs this morning. I've got to turn that down. Um, so I've got to clean out the shed before I actually put the stuff back in. So I don't know how long that's going to take me, if it's going to take me all week or what. But I was supposed to get up early this morning and start working on it. But I was so tired. I mean, the last, I guess, three or four weeks, I've only got, I've only got one day of eight hours of sleep. And, um, sorry, I got a message coming in. I only got about eight hours of sleep, only like one day a week for the last three or four weeks. And... I have to have my eight hours of sleep or I just get so exhausted. Um, now, I did notice my allergies are slightly starting to improve a little bit, um, but it's going to take a few more weeks on my new vitamin or stuff that I got for my allergies to kick in. So I'll give it another couple weeks and See, this week will be the second week, I think, I'm on it. Yeah, second week. So, another couple weeks, I should start seeing even more improvement on that. So, that'll be good. But, I've got to unload the van. Um, but, I'm not sure what day I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to start working on the shed tonight, or today sometime. <laughs> you hear the thunderstorms are coming in. So, in the meantime, I'm making some um, boiled eggs, y'all. And um, I'm going to probably have some egg salad sandwiches. This just sounds so good. And it's so good for you. But, um, yeah, working on videos, working on laundry, boiling some eggs. Um, I need to clean up the house because everything is in every which direction since I've been bringing stuff in. Um, I, need to, I have a whole list of stuff I need to do this next couple days. Tomorrow is lawn care day. So that means chaos will start in the morning. So I've got to, tonight, I have to um, work on some of the shed so I can get a trunk full of stuff that needs to go up to the dumpster. Um, so I can take that on my way out because i got to move all the vehicles so they don't get tore up um, by all the grass. That's another thing. Yesterday I never did tell you, um, on my way back, I went in through the car wash, and the other day, you remember when I left, the guy smacked the brush on the car, or the van? Well, yesterday, 
He smacked the spray wand on it and scratched it about that much. I was so irritated, so aggravated, I just said forget it. You know what? I'm not dealing with this right now. So I need to take it to a detailer to see if I can get them to fix them. Because the van, I wasn't so worried because the van from the previous owner I bought it used had some scratches on it. They weren't very loving as I am with my vehicles. So I wasn't too extremely worried. Yes, I was irritated. Yes, this is the second time the same guy has done something stupid. But I did not want to deal with it. I did not want to deal with the fact that I was going to have to go and get a claim through them. Get it paid so I can take it in to try to get the scratch fixed. I'm going to take it to the detailer and see if I can get it figured out. But I don't know when I'm going to end up. So, and then all these irritating people on the way back into the city was just driving me nuts. Rude, disrespectful, ignorant people on the road just drives me crazy. No reason to be that way. No reason. They're in a hurry to go nowhere. Um, just absolutely absurd. They're going to hurt somebody. I had a semi truck that was in the middle of the country riding my butt I was doing the speed limit, riding my butt, and it was in a passing zone. He's riding my butt, and he decides he's going to try to pass on a curve. Well, mind you, I'm driving the same speed limit the whole time, because normally I set my crews on the really long country roads like that, uh, that are wide open, and he's honking his horn and getting all belligerent with me because he's trying to pass on a curb and here comes cars. So he had to slow it back down and get behind me. I'm like, you ignorant moron. First of all, you're ignorant to be driving a rig that big, that fast. Now, mind you, this is 60 miles an hour. That's what the speed limit was. That's what I was going. And driving like that, riding on someone's butt in an 18-wheeler and trying to pass on a curve when you cannot see what's coming and blaming it on me. And then he flew around me and was beeping. I just ignored him. Um, and he had to be going at least 70. At least. Minimum. In an 18 wheeler on a country road acting like that. He's going to kill somebody. I prayed that he would get pulled over or that he would get some flat tires and be taken off the road for a little while. Yes, I do pray that. Because what's going to happen is, is he's going to kill somebody. And that poor innocent person is the one that has to take the blunt of his stupid moronism. I just, I get so irritated with stupid people. Because stupid people end up killing people. And then they have no remorse. And if they do have remorse, well, it's too late. So that was my rant yesterday. I was just so irritated. And it was like that the whole way home. It's like, really, people? Really? There's no reason to act like that. I just, I just don't get that. People have no consideration for anybody else on the road, and it just drives me nuts. Um, they're just going to end up killing somebody. I know how to handle myself in that situation, but they're going to end up killing somebody because they're stupid. There's no excuse. So my word of advice for you guys that think you need to drive fast or be aggressive or ride people's butts, knock it off. Because what's going to happen is you're going to end up killing somebody. And then you're going to be sentenced to life in prison because you killed somebody under vehicle manslaughter. And then you're going to be pouting because you feel guilty all of a sudden because of your actions. You can prevent that. I'm not I don't feel guilty for anybody that acts that stupid if they end up in jail. I don't. You are accountable for your own actions. Don't act stupid on the road. I don't care where you need to go and how fast you need to get there. You need to plan better. Sorry, but that's just how it is. I've seen way too many deathly accidents. And there's just no excuse. Absolutely no excuse to drive fast and be like that. 
Okay, I'm off my rant. It really irritates me, guys, because it kills people. So, anyway, um, I had a message coming in on the phone. I am working on eggs, like I said. I'm working on the laundry. I'm working on videos. Let's see what else. When the rain passes through, I will try to go out to the shed and pull some stuff for the trash bin and pull some more stuff out of the van that needs to come in. But I'm going to answer this um, message back and check my eggs. I haven't been timing them, but they're probably about done. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Things are going good here. I'm just staying home. I'm relaxing. Peanuts under the van right now. The last I knew, unless she went to the car. Um, so, she's very smart. She knows when I'm home. <laughs> she says she'd be a bunny. But, yeah. That's what I'm doing today. Sorry about my rant, guys. It's just, more people need to hear, don't be stupid on the road. It's, it doesn't turn out well. Alright, guys. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to check these eggs and get on with my afternoon. in my mind. <laughs> it started raining, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can see it. Yep. You see it? You turn the camera around. It's a raining, y'all. Can't show you the van because it's not right there. So you can see it. It is a raining. Storm has come. Hey guys, this is gonna be my first meal. It's a little after 11 o'clock. I'm gonna probably have two of these because I'm hungry. I need to get in my calories better than what I have them. Um, so I'm gonna have two of these today. I made it 10 eggs, so enough for four of these. So that's what I'm gonna have. Ooh, electricity's trying to go off. Storms are moving through pretty good. There you can hear it right now. Um, still working on videos. I'm going to have some lunch and I will talk to you later. Hey guys, my second egg salad wrap. I could eat egg salad every day. And then I told myself, well maybe I should. Good healthy option. You hear the thunder out there. <laughs> it's just a booming. Alright y'all, I'm going to eat my second wrap. Talk to you later. Guys, I forgot to tell you I'm having um, raspberry lemonade. Um, but I'm going to have three of these. And I'm still working on videos. Laundry's still finishing. And I'm kind of getting tired, so I think I might take a little nap, which I need and I deserve because I've not got the amount of sleep I need just with everything going on. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Talk to you later. Hey, guys. I'm going to have I pulled this out of the freezer. That's that tuna noodle casserole stuff. I'm going to eat that. And I took about a two hour nap. I'm still feeling drained. But this is where we're at. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and eat this. And I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I'm working on another video. Um, I walked out to the shed. And I was going to go work in the shed. I turned around and came right back in. <laughs> I looked at it and then walked away, but I'm going to go out there and I'm going to attempt to work for a half an hour and see what I can come up with. I dread it. That's why I don't want to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to go and try to attempt to um, attempt to actually do something out there so I can get the camper van unloaded. <laughs> Alright, talk to you later. Okay guys, I've been out here half an hour, um, I've got to sweep the spot where I need to put the stuff, and I've got a lot more to organize and go through, but I've kind of shifted stuff and moved things and reorganized here a little bit to get it all in without it cluttering up the walk-in space, so let me show you. Okay y'all. This is what I've got cleared out for that space. I've got stuff over here I need to um, get rid of. A lot of stuff I need to get rid of, but 
It's up too close. So I'm getting there. Got a bag of junk. Okay, y'all. Um, when it cools down a little bit, I will actually take some stuff out of the car and um, load up the trunk with stuff that needs to go to the dumpster for tomorrow and get that ready for morning so I can take that out and then uh, load up the car with stuff that needs to go to the thrift store and dumpster. Get that all taken care of. And uh, work a little bit on the van here in a few minutes. Once I cool off again, I will um, pull some stuff out that needs to come out inside. Not anything that needs to go in the, the shed yet. Just the stuff that needs to come inside. So, All right, y'all. Got some more work to do. Talk to you later. Okay, guys. I got all the stuff that needed to come in the house for the most part out of the van. So, all I need to do next... Sweating. Um, all I need to do... Excuse me. All I need to do next is... Um, organize the shed a little bit more and then I can actually take out all the components from that sorry take out all the components from the camper van and put it back in the shed so brought all the cushions and everything in the bedroom is a disaster back there but I got that far today one step closer once I get that um, shed cleaned out and organized Things will go so much smoother. <laughs> so what happens when you're not organized, y'all? Get it together, Jody Lynn. Anyway, I'm gonna have me a Cherry Coke Zero. I'm gonna enjoy that. And work on the computer some more because I've still got, sorry, that light is right there. Um, because I'm still working on videos right now. The computer's still working while I was working. But, so I can get caught up. I think I have one more day tomorrow, or yes, tomorrow's. Yesterday's, I think, left after this video. But this one I, I'm uploading, and then I've got to do some editing on it once I upload it again. Um, and then I can work on yesterday's video, and then I should be caught up um, up to today. And then I have today's when I finish with today's. But yep, that's what I'm doing, y'all. So I will start putting this stuff away, working on it tonight, trying to get my house back and organized again. And that's what I've been doing, y'all. Hopefully you guys have a great day and you've got something accomplished. This lighting is horrible. I am so sorry. But hopefully you got something accomplished today. I just did my hour of sweating. Yeah, I was out there an hour between the shed and unloading the van. So. I need to put laundry away and put all this camper van stuff away and get on with it. Alright y'all, I'm going to talk to you later. Hey guys, I am getting ready to go get a shower and go to bed. I'm having some pickled beets. Having some pickled beets. So I'm going to close the video out y'all. Remember to live a simple, happy, healthy, tidy life. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.